welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 20 and verse 16 today. Just a few words again, but this is the ninth commandment. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Okay? You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Now, it's interesting. There's several ways that this is talked, spoken of, talked about in the Bible. There's actually five or six different ways. I'm not going to list them all here in a, in a three-minute, four-minute video. But uh, this false witness thing is very serious. By the way, these last two commandments, number nine and then number 10, have a lot to do with peace with your neighbor. Okay, so that's kind of an interesting piece. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shouldn't tell an untruth. There are so many ways to use the tongue, the gift the, that God has given you, the ability to speak. There's so many ways you can speak in a way that is cutting down another person or undermining them or uh, impin impugning badness into their character or sort of sideways, you know, sarcastic. There's so many ways to do this. Uh, there's the direct lie and there's many other gradations of lies you can do. And so uh, the Bible is against it. It's six different ways it's against it. So this is a general principle. God would not slander anybody. God would not speak untruth of anybody. Uh, he would only speak what is truth about them. That's why when the Bible also, by the way, tells us not only about the character of God, but it also shows us some things about the character of Satan, Satan, God's adversary, that uh, we're getting the true picture that he is a liar from the beginning, a murderer from the beginning, and so on. He doesn't stand in the truth from the beginning. So um, those are not biased statements. Those are statements of truth. So when God speaks to us in his word, he never bears false witness about any person, about anything. Everything that he tells us is true. This is the Bible. This is the word of God. So as we are echoing God's likeness into his world, we are made in his image, then we would speak in a way that is the most uplifting, the most encouraging, the, the most truthful. And if you and I will be honest with ourselves, and I'm including me, there are a lot of ways that we have, we have certainly grown used to speaking less than truthfully. And if it's less than fully truthful, then in some respect, it's a false witness. So here's a place to upgrade. Here's a place to improve our Christian walk. Doesn't mean that we uh, ignore obvious uh, lies and things that are happening around us. It doesn't mean that we just put on a, a smiley face and just say, oh, the world is wonderful. It doesn't mean that. But it means that when we would be speaking of others, we would speak in a way that is the most, the most right, the most positive and accurate way we could speak about that other person. Otherwise, we shouldn't say anything at all. So let's look for ways to echo God's way of dealing with us out into the world as we speak whenever that occasion occurs, when we find ourselves with the necessity of speaking of others. Let us not bear false witness. And there are so many ways to do it. This would be a whole series to think about. Uh, and there's a lot of things about Lashon, the tongue, and how we, can, how we misspeak that we can think of that uh, draw from this. So uh, be careful, be very careful. Don't say nothing at all, but speak truthfully when you speak. And as the New Testament tells us, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Many times a most direct and simple answer is going to be the most truthful. All right, have a wonderful day tomorrow. We'll come back for 10th commandment of 10.